Welcome to the third installment of this post-election getting out of the bubble conversation thing. Today I have a question. Are we a bunch of partisan puppets? Last week, we saw a month's worth of news literally crammed into one week. Uh, you had that controversial dossier. You had Obama's farewell speech. Joe Biden gets the Medal of Freedom. You saw them start repealing the Affordable Care Act. Uh, a number of Senate confirmation hearings for Trump's cabinet. Kim and Kanye moved into a middle class neighborhood. And of course, the biggest story, Trump's press conference. We'll be doing some pretty good signings on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. 25, 30,000 people, because nobody's ever had crowds like Trump has had. Can I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You, stay, can you, stay you are fake news. The United States is hacked by everybody. That includes Russia and China and everybody. You're fired. I think all of us got played at that press conference last week because it seemed to benefit everybody but us. The media got their ratings. Uh, Trump got away with hardly answering any questions, but everyone seemed to get stuck into their political corners and for what purpose? You know, the more and more I slowly step outside of my bubble, I realize I can't be a sucker and keep getting sucked into these partisan bullshit politics. Because the reality of it is it just makes me look like a hypocrite. If you weren't down for when the FBI director was like, hey, uh, I found some more emails, don't know what's in them. And then a week later it was like, guess what? There was nothing new in them. You can't use the unsubstantiated dossier, even though one could argue it was worth its weight in Twitter gold. On the flip side of that, if you're mad that people are calling Donald Trump an illegitimate president, least you forget that he did that for eight years with Obama. So here's what I'm thinking. What if we get on the same page? If we're going to get through the next four years, I think we got to be on the same team. And I don't mean liberals or conservatives. I'm talking about us, normal human being people, especially the salt sprinkle guy. Because when the apocalypse comes, who's going to be there to season our lamb? Partisan politics benefit political parties and politicians and storylines on scandal, but they don't necessarily benefit us. You see, there was another really big story that happened last week that got a fraction of the attention, even though it's something that could have had a direct impact on our lives. So while we all got sucked into talking about Russian prostitutes balling out at the Four Seasons, even though it made amazing tweets. My mind's telling me no. This other thing happened. Our drug industry has been disastrous. And we have to do is create new bidding procedures for the drug industry because uh, they're getting away with murder. Uh, pharma. Now that off the cuff remark might not sound like a big deal, but the pharmaceutical industry, their stocks lost $25 billion. And then right after that, Bernie Sanders made this announcement from, I think, inside Kim and Kanye's middle-class home. Mr. Trump today talked about how Farmer is getting away with murder. Well, he's right. I'm gonna offer an amendment tonight. It addresses the absurd situation of we in the United States paying by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. So that night, an amendment urging the federal government to let people like you and me buy pharmaceutical drugs at a fraction of the price was voted down. 52 to 40, 52 to 46. But here's the crazy part. It wasn't along party lines. You had 13 Republicans vote with the majority of Democrats in favor of the bill. But the reason it lost is because 13 Democrats voted with the majority of Republicans. And you're asking yourself like, why would 13 Democrats do that? And as The Intercept points out, all you gotta do is follow the money trail. The Democratic New Jersey Senator, Cory Booker, has received $267,338 from pharmaceutical companies the last six years. Six other Democrats have also received six figures from pharma. So do I think that all these Democrats who voted against the bill are necessarily bad people? No, I just have to remind myself that a political party or a politician, their interests are not always my interests, which means they shouldn't get a free pass. In the same way that our friend Donald Trump here, if he has some ties to Russia, I don't think that's in our best interests. So he shouldn't get a free pass, right? But here's where things get a little complicated. You see, Sunday, Trump did an interview with the Washington Post 
and he said that he has a plan for healthcare that covers everybody and brings everybody's deductibles down. We should be in favor of that. And that's what's gonna be really complicated the next few years, is that we can't look at everything through a political prism anymore. So here's my last question to you, and that's, when the party that we voted for, the politician that we voted for, the TV pundit that we like to watch on TV, can we keep it real when they say or do something that's not in our best interest? Politicians and political parties do not have the same interests as you and me. How can we move forward and have each other's backs and not become partisan puppets?